in wrestling, never say never. And I will say that the NXT Tag Team titles are not on our list of titles that we've won. So we are interested in that. And I think this crossover between NXT and TNA is great. It's exciting. It's unpredictable. And I think that's a positive for the business and the industry. Oh, uh, we're on. Do you, do you can't see a red light, can you? Hey. No? Hey. You we're see? live, pal. That's it. We are live in living color, if you will. You do any wrestling imitations? I do uh, hundreds of them. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. Who, I, I who do you do? I might do a couple. Who do you do? Uh, maybe some Michael Hayes. Okay. So, Michael Hayes, your days on the road as the Freebirds. Gary Hart was your manager. You traveled with him. What, 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 what kind of guy was Gary Hart? I mean, he was a good guy. He was a real good guy, but let me tell you about these Hardy kids. They got something special, and we're thinking about getting some damn robes, and we'll get these robes, and they'll be made of forks, spoons, and knives, and it's going to stand out. You know, We're going to be the new Freebirds. You I'm, understand? I'm going to give him Gary Hart. Well, my man, all you have to do is you go into the building, you do your little schmaz, go out with us afterwards, come back and do it again tomorrow. Excellent. Do you do any, Jeff? What? Do you do any... I said, do you do any wrestling imitations? What? Oh, hell yeah. That's Steve Austin, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. <laughs> what you gonna do, Stone Cold, when all the maniacs run all over you, man? I'm gonna turn into a maniac myself, brother. Oh my God. Jeff and Matt Hardy, welcome to the after chat. I haven't had you on here in... Blah, it's been a minute. Forever. Yeah, so yeah. here's my question now. The, the first question is... Uh, in TNA, a lot of people who are watching TNA right. are kind of like going like, well, this whole thing with NXT going on. And they're saying, is this a way for the Hardys to somehow even make their way back into NXT where you weren't and into WWE again? So how do you answer that? Uh, in wrestling, never say never. And I will say that the NXT tag team titles are not on our list of titles that we've won. So we are interested in that. And I think this crossover between NXT and TNA is great. It's exciting, it's unpredictable, and I think that's a positive for the business and the industry. Why do you think this happened? Yeah, I'm a fan of first time evers, and you know, us in yeah. NXT, just the vision of that, like it's very exciting to me. But like when Matt first showed up in TNA, my wife called me in the bathroom and said, did you know Matt was going to TNA? I said, no, wow. I had <laughs> no idea. And then I watched Super. the footage, oh my God. And to myself, I, I speak with my soul a lot. Yeah, I said, yeah. ah, we're, there's no way we're going back to, back to TNA. But then I just let that let dwell and I, I, I thought about it and then I was like, oh my God, wait a minute. I had a lot of cool moments yeah, in TNA. Yeah, I created yeah. a lot of great memories in TNA. And then it was last notice that we had the conversation and I agreed to go back. And um, for some reason, it just feels right. Like it That's was supposed great. to be That's this great. way. So especially with the... Uh, Joe Hendry deal, NXT, oh, yeah. and George, yeah. I mean, it, it, all that stuff is so exciting. So I think it kind of happened for a reason. Check out Brain Buster, the daily quiz that tests your WWE knowledge with winning streaks, stats, and more. It's time to see if you're up for the challenge. What's different about TNA beside the crossover with NXT than when you were there last time? I, I feel like it has more structure now. Okay. Now the anthem is there. Uh, I'm dealing with Tommy Dreamer. He's kind of like the lead oh. when it comes to us with creative. And I, I've loved working with Tommy. Yeah, he's it just it's been a blessing and just a, just a pleasure to work with Tommy across the years. So having Tommy kind of be the guiding force between the current Hardy Boys run and kind of we kind of uh, collaborate when we talk about creative has been great. And and that's what's really enjoyable. They they I feel like they're organized. They have a direction and they're doing a really good job. But like telling good stories and giving pretty damn good in-ring action now because yes, I think they have yeah. a hell of a roster actually. I, I, I think if they had a bigger platform, TNA could be doing really, really well now. You know, their own access TV, they have TNA yes. plus app. Yeah. Uh, I just want to see them grow. And if we're there, I definitely want to make them grow. And it's very cool because I wrestled Moose for the title. That's when Jeff returned. Yeah, that, I remember. That, that building was sold out uh, at the ECW arena. 2300 Arena, the Hardy Boys are advertised yeah. versus system for the titles. That'll be on this Thursday. Sold out that night. So well, they, we they, don't know when this will be on, so it was on and it was tremendous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going to be on this Thursday. So, oh, you're right. We right. don't know when we this will be, be on. But it will be. Uh, whenever this match takes place, go back and watch it if you haven't seen it. Tell us about your current tag team feud in TNA. Well, I had the craziest dream last night. I had a dream that I was back in TNA and there was this guy there that does a Swanton 450. 
I wonder who the heck that could be. Damn, it wasn't a dream. Damn. It's real. Right. So yeah, we're going to help lead him into the future, man. And that's my belief system. Your, your current program in TNA for fans that don't know? Uh, it is with the system. It yes, is, uh, yeah, they more, are. More or less, it is uh, the Hardys and uh, our allies versus the system. That's where we're at right now. Now, everybody's, to, you mentioned uh, Joe Hendry, and everybody yeah. seems, there's a buzz going on about him. What is it about him that the buzz is all about? I, I think he's a really a great guitar player, and just watching his entrances from back in the day, how funny they are and how entertaining they are and how talented he is overall. And just seeing, I watched the podcast, Matt, had uh, him on the show a while back, and I was like, oh, my God, this guy's got it going on. That's so great. I totally understand, like, and I'm a believer in Joe Hendry. Does he have a, a bright future, barring the musical thing, does he have a bright future in this business? What do you predict for him? I, I think so. I mean, even these few weeks I've been here, I feel like he's improving every single week in the ring. He's tightening up his whole act. And he just, he has a ton of charisma. He gets the business and he gets the entertainment aspect more than anyone else. You know what I mean? He, he's really good at that. And when it comes to his social media, he's a social media guru because he knows exactly yes, how to promote yes. himself and how to do things that get people excited. He'll make memes of himself. And I told him, and I actually said this on air, which a lot of people saw this uh, the night Jeff returned. He reminds me a lot of when I was first doing Broken Matt Hardy and it was going viral and there were like all these memes and, and gifts we were trying to get out of it. Yep. That's what he's doing. And he, he is really crossing over into more of a mainstream audience where they're like, hold up, I knew this guy like, you know, yeah. Turns around yeah, yeah, and does yeah, a yeah. smile, yeah. you know. I, and I, I know the gifts, but like I Vogue, have to look into Vogue. this guy. Yeah, yeah he's very yeah. bold. He gets yeah. it, man. He gets it. Did you expect him to come back? Um, I, I, I didn't know. And it was one of those things when I first started with TNA, I agreed to work through the match with Moose. And I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if we would end up back at AEW, we'd do WWE. I mean, everything was on the table, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, just the way things worked out, Jeff's like, ah, yeah, I think uh, my deal's running out. Like, maybe we'll do that and I'll show up there. And, and it became it worked. became it a, 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 a realization. We're here at 90s Wrestling Con in Atlantic City, New Jersey. You're doing, uh, both, you're doing your podcast here, but you're also doing a concert. There are a lot of fans. Last time I talked to you, when you were in TNA, the long time ago somewhere, I don't remember where that was, somewhere in Philadelphia. And you were telling me about your musical career. So what's going on with that now? Oh, it's 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 super exciting. I, I've continuously done music over the years, but now I'm starting to feel something in my brain with melody and my voice and how to control it more. So I keep putting myself in these scary situations like tonight, going out there and singing yeah. sober, yeah. which is very scary. <laughs> I'm still getting used to that, but I'm starting to believe in myself more when it comes to singing. And who knows, man, the Antichrist of pro wrestling might show back up in TNA and challenge Joe Henry and say, you people aren't smart enough to understand my music. Well, you know what? Since I sing, I would consider opening up for you one night. I do, I got, I, I do any Barry Manilow song, I Tom Jones song, any of them. What do you want? Oh, Barry Manilow would be amazing. What's your, what's your favorite Manilow song? I wish I knew. What's that? What's that one you sing the best? Oh, Can't Smile Without You. But yes. that, there's so many other ones there. Oh. I remember all my life raining down as cold as I. What about some Sinatra My Way? Could you do that? Oh, I end Sinatra. I end my show, my one man show, with Very. with different voices, wrestler voices. Like I started off with Dusty, and now the end is near. And so I face the final curtain, if you will. And then we go into Bruno San Martino. My friends, doggone it out. Anyway, but that's that's yeah. what it is. So thank you both for appearing here on the After Chat. Where can people find you on social media? And you got to follow them on at TNA, which is amazing. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, I am pretty much Matt Hardy brand across the board on Twitter, on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, my podcast is there. And uh, Jeff does Jeff Hardy brand. Yeah. yeah, Jeff Hardy brand Instagram. That's my main go to when I post. And I, I do not have a Facebook. Never have, never will. Okay. And, um, well, yeah, don't follow me on social media. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't ask you this one loaded question. What's the tag team that's out there today or in the past that you guys always said, damn, I wish we could work against them and you never had that match? I, I honestly don't know if we have, we have that tag team. Uh, 
Maybe one person I think which would, or a team that would have been cool to have a match against would have been the Motor City Machine Guns. Oh yeah, because we yeah. never oh, worked wow. with those yes. guys. Yeah, yeah, very cool. But okay. well, we've been pretty blessed, pretty lucky to work with almost everyone. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, you heard it here, right here on the after chat. So if you guys wouldn't mind pointing out, we'll see you at the matches. See you there. We'll see you at the matches. In the no, no, that one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah.